Hi friends, today I have taken a problem from calendars and the question goes like this How many leap years can we get for every 100 years? The values are 25, 24, 76 and 75 First of all, we need to know how to find a leap year The formula is, if the given value is a century then the value should be divisible by 400 That means if the given value contains zeros in the last two digits then it should be divisible by 400 then only it is a leap year if the value does not contain zeros in the last two digits that is the given value is not a century then the value should be divisible by 4 then only it is a leap year now check the question how many leap years can we get for every 100 years that means they are asking how many leap years will be there in for every 100 years these 100 years can be in between the centuries or in between any of the given value given years so let it is a general question so we will we should analyze this one first I'm considering 1 to 100 years okay for 1 to 100 years there are 24 values which gets divided by 4 divisible by 4 and there are 76 values which are not getting divisible by 4 and 400 here 100 is there no it is a century this if the given value is a century then the value should be divisible by 400 this is a formula which states whether it is a leap year or not so 100 should be divisible by 400 in order to become a leap year but 100 is not divisible by 400 hence it is not a leap year so there are 24 leap years and 76 non leap years from 1 to 100 from 101 to 200 there are 24 values which gets division divided by 4 and there are 76 values which are not getting divisible by 4 and also 400 hence there are 24 leap years and 76 non leap years similarly for 201 to 300 years there are 24 values which gets divided by 4 and there are 76 values which are not getting divisible by 4 and 400 Hence, there are 24 leap years and 76 non leap years from 201 to 300 years. From 301 to 400 years, there are 25 leap years. Because from 301 to 400 years, there are 24 values which gets divided by 4, and there is one value that is 400 which gets divisible by 400. Hence, these values are leap years. So 24 plus 1, 25 leap years and the rest of the values 75 are not divisible by either 4 and 400 hence they are non leap years see for every 400 years there will be only one century which gets 25 leap years and 75 non leap years and for the rest of the centuries there will be 24 leap years and 76 non leap years so in general if anyone asks us how many leap years can we get for every 100 years Simply you say the, it's 24 because in majority cases you will get 24 leap years and 76 non leap years. If they particularly mention how many leap years can we get from 301 to 400 years, then you clearly say that there are 25 leap years and 75 non leap years because the century value is a leap year, it is divisible by 400, hence it is a leap year. So we need to add this one also. So 25 leap years and 75 non leap years. This is how we need to solve a problem of this kind. Please remember, in general, there will be 24 leap years for every 100 years. If the century value is a leap year, then there will be 25 leap years and 75 non leap years. If the century value is not a leap year, there will be 24 leap years and 76 non leap years okay thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel my app is